Hey, Purple Beast Eaters, welcome back to the channel. And today we are having crawfish boil. We're having a crawfish boil. And I'm excited. This is definitely to kick off summer. I'm going to put my sauce right here. You won't be able to see it, but it is here. And yeah, let's get started. Let's get a thumbnail first. So let's grab me a... Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I am on the lookout for a spider, y'all. There's a spider that moseyed on through here. I'm trying not to get distracted. Got some potatoes. Mmm. Potato and crawfish, y'all. I normally don't even eat the claw. Cause I think they really ain't no meat in them for real. So as y'all can see, my birthday decorations are still up. Mm. These are so good. It's so fire. <laughs> mm, sorry if I'm not talking a lot because these are so good. Um, okay. That was a big one. That was a big pop of. A coat gonna hit the spot every time. <clears throat> so, what I will be talking about today is <clears throat> trolls. Because <coughs> I don't only deal with them in YouTube, on YouTube, but I deal with them on Instagram, 
everywhere. So let's talk about it. Like, let's talk about it, baby. Because I just be thinking, I just be minding my business and I don't bother anybody. But apparently, my mere existence bothers people. I'm sorry, keep. I'm just moving down here. I'm gonna just sit it down here. See, I'm dipping off to the side like this. I feel like my mere existence bothers people. And we gonna address the racist comments that I get from grown people on the internet. The only thing they can do, the only thing they can do is talk about my fatness, how fat I am. Because they have nothing else to say. I get monkey emojis. I get gorilla emojis. And yeah, that's it. That's all they can say. Racist fat jokes. Cause they have nothing else to do. And comparing me to other creators, baby, I'm me. I'm Ariel. I ain't never tried to be like anybody else. I ain't never tried to be like, you know, one of these bigger creators. I don't compare myself to nobody. And like, I don't. Yes, B-Love is an amazing creator. I've been watching her for six years. I got my YouTube start when she was already like breaking through and becoming more well-known. But I'm still not comparing myself to her or any other creator, especially another black woman. Like that's the thing, y'all want us to go against each other so bad. Like had I not taken a hiatus, yes, my channel would be more uh, fully like developed and further along, of course. Like, had I stayed being consistent for five years, absolutely. That would have been the name of the game. It would have had no other choice but to be, you know, bigger and better and fully developed. It's a, it's a, it's a growing machine. It needs time to grow. It needs time to mature. And for me to just get started after four years and for me to already be almost at a thousand, that says something about me. Because when I first was getting started, I was stuck at 43 subscribers for the longest time. 43 subscribers, um, then 80 subscribers, and then like... I was stuck in those like single digits. Like I didn't know I could get to a hundred subscribers. I had no idea. And then I started posting on shorts and my shorts were starting to get noticed. And, and from there I was getting people that we're subscribing. But like, yeah, you have to allow yourself time to grow. I'm not them. I'm Ariel. I'm not trying to be like nobody. And this is no shade to those creators. I promise you that. Like, I look at those creators as inspiration. My point is, everybody had to start somewhere. Okay, I was just adjusting the angle. Yeah. 
go. I was adjusting the angle because like it was starting to bug me. Thought you guys can see the food. So anyways. Yeah. Trolls will be trolls. Like they have nothing else to do. They ain't got no content. They're not doing what I'm doing. If you have a channel and you make videos and you post online, that takes a certain type of person to do that. Not if, if it was so easy, everybody would have a channel. Not everybody have a channel. If it was so easy, them people who comment negative stuff under my stuff will have a channel. They don't. If they do, it's like two to three subscribers. Like you're not making no content. And you can't tell me how to run mine. If you are not doing it. And I'm not being rude. I'm being honest. You're not going to get fake over here. You're not going to get uh, me trying to put on for like a perfect person. No. I am 100% myself. I'm not pretending to be anybody. This potato is still raw. I'm going to eat around the rawness. Yeah, I don't pretend to be nobody else but me. I wouldn't be able to put up an act. Like, every every time y'all log on to my channel or whatever, being a different person, I would have to go back and be like, oh, who was I the other day? Who was I when I filmed the hamburger mukbang? Who was I when I filmed the other mukbang? Like, that's doing too much. Mm-mm. I don't got time to be pretending. Yeah, I'm going to be myself, baby. Regardless. 100% myself. And can't nobody tell me how to do me. Because that's all I do. I just do me. Now, you know, having a, a suggestion about what we should talk about, about what I should eat, that's okay. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Somebody just posted the other day, like, can you do a story time? The story time video is up. It's up. I don't mind taking suggestions from my supporters. It's the rude comments I'm talking about. It's those comments talking about, oh, you should watch so-and-so for a suggestion on how to eat your seafood. Huh? Sir, ma'am? Huh? Because eating seafood, I've been eating seafood since I was a little kid. My mama is a Creole from Louisiana. Are you serious? Is you cool? Like, eating seafood is what I've been doing since I was about seven years old. Even before seven, I think like five, five years old. Her father's relatives are from the bayou, honey. I don't need no help eating seafood. If you get you some crawfish, oops, the meat is so tender. It just keeps falling off. Okay. I'm gonna learn you something right now. If you if you get you a crawfish in the tail straight, don't eat it. 
That means it was dead when it was being cooked. And you can get sick. Eat live crawfish or eat a fresh crawfish that was cooked live. Oh my God. three rings, take it off, and then take this part out. My nails are trash because I do a lot of gel manicures. Um, it's also a little runny today. <sighs> but yeah, on to something positive. I addressed the trolls, so. On a more positive note. I have a special life update. update for me my divorce has been um it moved forward and we signed our divorce papers so we are pending a divorce um that should take about a week or two uh his lawyer said it was random so i y'all know i've been trying to get divorced Ooh, look at this is topo chico y'all this is them bubbles is bubbling <laughs> okay y'all know i've been trying to get divorced from that man for like over the past four to five years or four years rather, sorry, um, since 2020, basically. And now he's hired his lawyer and they sent me the papers saying that we're getting divorced and it's a joint petition and da da da, da. Which I'm happy about, like, I'm glad that it's moving forward. But like, don't make it seem like I don't want one or like, don't make it seem like I didn't um, serve you a dozen times because I did. And technically we didn't even need lawyers because we don't have any property together or any children, but you know ex abusers or abusers or people who are narcissistic like they, it's a power thing it's a power they want to be in power they want to be in control they want to have the lawyer to make it seem like you're defenseless but 
he don't have nothing to defend because I don't want nothing. But, yay. Everything's moving forward. I'm so excited. It's about damn time. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, that was a good bite. That was a good bite. Yeah, I'm excited because I've been trying to get into dating and that was the reason why me and my ex-girlfriend kind of fell out. She just didn't know when the divorce was going to be final, like if he was going to come and like want me back. She just didn't know what the deal was. So this way, my next relationship doesn't have to go through what she went through because I felt bad about that. And if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, I welcome you to do so. And all the new people, welcome to Purple Peace Chronicles. And we are a mukbang channel, channel, channel. And I eat food and I have story times and I talk. I run my mouth and I eat food. Like, excuse me. are so weak my nails is weak 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 I've been taking the time taking some time off of doing um gel manicures because that's my that's been my special interest lately um gel manicures <sighs> so I'll do them once a like I was doing them once a week like consistently or no not once a week like once every two weeks because they never stay very long on me <clears throat> they are they'll chip because I um wash the dishes and I'm constantly doing stuff with my hands I 
and I did this press on. I did press ons for my birthday, but only this one remains. Mm. These cars won't let me be. It's like, yes, they're loud all the time. But it seems like they extra loud when I'm recording. Good old mood bugs. There's a big papa. And I hope y'all had a happy Father's Day too. To all of the fathers out there. Yeah, I sent my dad his gift. He should be receiving it sometime. This is definitely recorded way after Father's Day though. I record myself like a week apart. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> I have to finish Bridgerton. I know everybody's talking about Bridgerton. I have to finish it. <clears throat> and I um, watched House of Dragon, House of Dragons, and the new power so those are my um those are my uh shows My nails are just, they're about as thin as this crawfish shell. Okay, y'all. We demolished. We demolished my loud ass neighbors. They're gonna come outside and start talking loud. So I just, I'm just gonna stop the video and finish off the video right now. Cause I don't feel like dealing with that 
but thank you for tuning in um this was amazing this was so good if you have not tried crawfish when crawfish season rolls back around get you some crawfish but until next time my pepper pizza eaters peace